five years, but I'm still not playing. I don't want the kids. I'm over it. I do everything by my fucking self, and I've been doing it for years since I was 15. I'm literally 27. I'm about to be 28 this year. Still nothing. Like, these niggas don't help. They don't send no Christmas cards, birthday gifts, presents, no, literally not a damn thing. And as well, okay, my oldest son is 11, and my daughter's is about to be three. So you mean to tell me out of three years and out of 11 years, y'all lazy ass niggas still ain't come up yet? Okay, well, y'all take the kids, and I'm going to worry about me, focus on school, and get my motherfucking shit together, because why the fuck not? It's time for somebody else to fucking, you know, step the fuck up and do something. I'm Yo, welcome back to the channel, man. And today's another touchy, touchy topic, man. Uh, I saw this going viral. It's going viral on TikTok if you haven't already seen it. I know you must, but I'm going to give you the full story here because, for one, I am not a single mom, nor have I given birth to kids, so I want to tread light, lightly when I talk about this stuff, man. But as you can see here, this is from the uh, viral video that's going around from Amora Lex. She gave up her kids on Facebook Live to CPS, and she first tried to she first tried to go to the fire department and give up her give up her kids there, and they wouldn't. So then she had to go take them to um, go to the police station, which then they escorted her to CPS, uh, which is like you know you don't see this every day on the internet. I'm I guarantee you this is happening all the time. Um, you just don't see it on the internet. So a lot of people will worry about about her mental state. And my first, my very first reaction to this was anger. Like, what are you doing? Like, first of all, why are you on the internet? And secondly, um, why are you giving up your kids and then putting it on, uh, blaming everyone else? You know what I'm saying? You decided to have these kids. And yes, I understand that the fathers are deadbeat, you know, per her side. You know, we don't know both sides. I want to tread lightly on this. Um, that was my first reaction. So then I'm just like, you know what? Let me do some research. Let me take a step back because... Giving these kids up might be the best option for her. So um, let's watch the next clip because this is a clip of her actually giving her kids up at CPS. Firehouse for two hours, but we're here at Children's Services now. If there's any family out there on my case dad's side, I don't have nobody's contact information. If there's anybody out there who would like to take the kids, we're here at Children's Services. Main Street, Whitehall. This is, this is killing me. Yeah. But it's for the better. Like it's, yeah. it's for me to get my life better and focus on my schooling, my career, my health. Number one, my health, so I don't fucking die because I can't do shit for them if I'm dead. Yeah. I can't stop stressing if I don't have help. You know. And so I it's like, that. and it's like the dads didn't want to help me. They wanted to see me beat. I done lost everything so many fucking times. <laughs> but you know what? Like I said, I'm gonna come back for them. And that was pretty much her reasoning, man. She basically said she's reached out to people. She's reached out to her both of her baby daddies, you know. Um, and neither one of them wanted to help. Neither one, of them, neither one of the fathers has come up. But again, on the flip side of that, I'm like, you can't really use that as an excuse because you're the mom. You know, all three have a responsibility to take care of. Yes, um, but that I don't know if that gives reason gives reason to give up your kids. And then another side of me is like, well, if she doesn't have that human nature, um, and to me, I think her mental capacity is not there as there as a normal mom would be because her mental stress is is definitely probably higher than the average to, to the point where these kids might be safer in a better home. Um, but then again, see, this is why I try to tread, light, tread lightly because there's a, there are millions of single moms doing what she's doing, been through what she's been through. You know, and raise successful kids. Um, then on the flip side of that, there's millions of people who've been through what she's been through. And, you know, their kids end up in prison or in jail or on the street or homeless or repeating a cycle that she's repeating. Um, so, again, this is informative. And I just want to get especially single mom feedback on this one because I don't know. Uh, I'm on, like, I'm just, like, walking that tightrope between anger and like maybe this is the best decision. So I feel where she's coming from. I don't know if it's sympathy, but it's more of a me worrying about the kids than her. And I'm gonna show you why at the end. You're gonna want to watch this last video because this is why I'm walking that tight rope. But let's talk about 
the family aspect because in the next video, she explains her what's going on with her family and her friends. Um, but I did, I made this decision because of course I'm not going to lie. Yes, my family, keep them, keep them, keep them. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I don't have time to figure shit out. I have shit going on now. I need solutions right now. I need to be able to get the fuck up and go make this money now. Like I need to, I don't have a lot of fucking time and nobody gets that. I'm not scared to fucking die. I don't care about dying. I don't care. I care about leaving my kids with nothing, knowing damn well I'm the only motherfucking person on this earth who loves them. And I literally mean it because it shows. It fucking shows. The cops even, before they brought us, to, before they took my kids to children's services, the cops tried to call Kendrell. And he said, I got two other kids on the way, so I can't take them. Obviously, y'all, the nigga is dead. But like, literally, and I cannot fucking wait because when I... Not too much information, no. I'm not gonna say too much, but I made this decision right here, knowing I was about to lose bonds with my mom forever, knowing I'm about to lose my sisters forever. I already prepared, I already prepared because to, to be honest, motherfuckers wasn't doing shit for me anyway, but fucking trying to judge every fucking move I fucking made, downplaying me, doing weird ass shit for people who don't give a fuck about them, like just weird as fuck. Like I don't give a fuck about my family. I already did. I made this move knowing I was about to lose my family. I didn't give a fuck because I barely had the bitches in the first place. So this explains a lot. First of all, when I say her mental state, when she says things like, I I'm not scared to die, you know, that to me that just, but you love your kids. So that just lets me know right now, right now that her mental state is not 100% where it should be as a human being, especially as a single mom. That's why I say I think maybe the kids is better off with CPS and going to a, be a better home. Um but the the it's just something that's not that doesn't sit well with me about her doing it this way, especially on the internet, live, everywhere she goes, her kids will come across this someday, and her mental state thinks that this is going to be validation. This is my assumption. I'm not saying that's what she's saying. I'm saying this is my assumption that she thinks this is going to be a validation to her kids when she has to explain this later, right? Because someday she will have to explain this to her kids. Um, and then next, you know, you saw she call she called her one of her baby daddies, and he was just like, huh, figure it out. And this is what happens when you have kids with the wrong men, right? So we already heard her reasoning behind she felt like this was the last option. Her family kept telling her to keep it, but not there to help. But it's kind of scary because she kind of talks like as if it's their responsibility to help, um, but it's not. So that's another, you know, key factor in this that I think her mental is not all there. Right, and maybe the kids. This could have been the best decision for the kids, right? And on the other flip side of that, if no one's helping her, and she's struggling, and she knows that she's not going to be able to provide for those kids like she should as a mom or as a parent, or the fathers are not going to be able to provide. CPS is probably the best place. Now she don't get no reward for this at all. Now this is the one thing that I will say. I see social media rewarding her and calling her a hero. She's no hero. She's made. A lot, if you go look at her history, this, not, this is not her first time dealing with CPS, and she is no hero. She keep, she continues to make bad, bad decisions over and over again and end up in a situation to now she's giving up two kids. Because trust me, if one's three, I can't remember how, how old is the other one, or I can't remember, but they're far, they're far enough apart to where you went through the struggle and you known that you was going through the struggle, that you shouldn't have had another one. So she's no hero here. But let's get into the next video, because I don't want to hold y'all too long. Well, I wish I could give you the tea, but mine's just a little bit tired, and that's why it's called Leah's Lemonade. And listen, I have a Lemonade exclusive. I have a more Lex now, sis, you have gone very, very viral for some recent videos you've posted, more specifically uh, with you going to the CPS office and going ahead and giving your kids to CPS. Um, I know it's been a lot going on, but I wanted to talk to you because That's I felt crazy. like there was a lot of negativity surrounding this video, and it was very commendable to me. So I wanted to have you on to share your story. How you doing, Lex? I'm doing good. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. It was important for me to let you share your story. So I guess, tell me what led up to you deciding to go ahead and give your kids to CPS. Where were you at mentally where you were like, you know what, I need help and this is what I need to do? 
And I'm not even gonna watch the video because this what made me this like made me really uncomfortable. All right. We're not gonna watch the rest of the video because this made me uncomfortable. This was like less than a week after she went viral. Right? She's at a radio station on a podcast. She looks done up, shades on. You know, and what rubbed me the wrong way is she's going live doing it right now. Like the attention is already getting to her. If you were struggling so much and you were supposed to already be, you know, making changes to your life and you was gonna come back for your kids, why are you trying to post and go do interviews? Maybe it's for the money. Some some of y'all are gonna say it's for the money, but it just doesn't sit right with me. It doesn't sit right with me. The last thing I would have been doing after going viral for giving my giving up my kids to CPS is explaining that whole story again. And then trying to go live with it. Like it's almost like she thinks she's some type of celebrity. And that's why I think her mental state is not where it should be. And that's why the kids are probably better off at CPS. She's no hero. But then again, I I haven't I gotta I haven't been through this. I'm not a single mom. My kids have both parents. So I don't know if I'm being a little, you know, hard on her. Right? Because me, I would, after I get my kids up, my next step will be, okay, what's my next move? What colleges do I need to enroll in? You know, what jobs do I need to apply for? Um, how do I lay low? What's the fastest? I would be in my room, bawling, crying tears out, writing down every step I need to take to get my kids back as soon as possible. You know? Not at a radio station less than a week. But that's just me. But that is today's video. If you are still here, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Um, we on our road to 1,600 subscribers. Thank you to all my supporters who keep returning, who keep putting me in the algorithm. I'll see you guys next time.